What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. Before I get into this video, if you want to give a donation to this channel, if you want to give a donation to Too Raw for TV, there will be a link in the description box in this video. And uh, if you want to, you can donate to this channel. Um, so Vince Carter announced recently that he will return, or at least he intends to return to the NBA for a record 22nd NBA season. Um, I don't have an issue with him coming back personally. Um, at the level that he's playing at for his age, it's pretty impressive. I don't know the exact numbers he had, but I want to say last year he averaged like maybe seven points per game or something like that. He's transitioned to becoming a great three-point shooter. Um, he provides leadership. He's a mentor to younger players. He's a great locker room presence for what I've, under, for what I've read about him. Um, there are some things about him in the past I didn't like. I didn't like that he admitted on uh, in an interview that he didn't always play hard when he was with the Toronto Raptors. Um, that was something that sullied his reputation, I think, to a great degree. Um, and it kind of took him down a peg, I think, when it comes to how his how he was perceived in the NBA. You know, there was a time, and you know, those of you guys who are my age, maybe a little bit younger, definitely older, you'll remember that there was a time when Vince Carter was the face of the NBA. I would say, uh, or at least the, the, they were trying to make him the face of the NBA from the post-Jordan era, 99 to about 2001-ish, 2002, around that time, Vince Carter was kind of the dude, man. He was the guy. But then the Lakers started winning championships. Kobe started playing at, at the level that we were accustomed to seeing Kobe playing later on when he took that next step. And Kobe became, started to become the leading horse in that race. Um, but the 22nd season, um, if he were to come back for a 22nd season, I would have no problem personally if Vince was, I guess, ring chasing. I mean, he kind of does. I don't want to say anybody deserves a ring, but he, he would get a pass if he were to join an organization that would give him a, 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 a a, you know, a decent chance of winning a championship. Um, if he does come back for a 22nd season, it would break the record, which is 21 seasons, which has been shared by various players like Kevin uh, Garnett, uh, Dirk Nowitzki, who just retired this season. Uh, who else? Uh, Kevin Willis, who played 21 seasons. Um, overall, uh, Robert, Robert Parrish, uh, played 21 NBA seasons. He was the first guy to make it 21 seasons. When he did it back in 96, 97, he broke the record, which was then 20 by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And if you include the ABA, uh, Moses Malone played, uh, 21 seasons. He started his career in the ABA in 1974 and ended his career during the 94, 95 season with the San Antonio Spurs, who were originally an ABA team. Um, so that's what I got to say about that. As far as any team that uh, would be available, maybe, for Vince Carter, who I think is 42 years old, um, what team do you think would fit him as far as, like, a championship contending team? Like, is there a team that you, that you guys can see him fitting in? Um a guy who's basically more or less now just a spot-up sh three-point shooter. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think.